everyone, welcome to the tutorial of, of Electrical Pro, a software solution for the electrical engineers. So today we're gonna see how Electrical Pro gonna solve an electrical problem in solar energy installation like the solar pan pay. So today we're gonna see the calculation of the number of chain in series that we have to choose because we have to respect the voltage range and the input current DC max of the inverter to not to break the inverter. So as an example, we're gonna choose to feed a submerged pump with 18 kilowatts of power by the solar energy. So as you can see here, we have the power pump which equal to 18 kilowatts and we have the power of the solar inverter which equal to 22 kilowatts. So the power of the inverter must be greater than the power of the pump so it can support the load of the pump so according to the power of the pump which is 18 kilowatts we're gonna need 27.45 kilowatt peak of solar power to feed our pump so if you check the last tutorial you're gonna see how we can calculate this value with electrical pro so in this example we're gonna use the solar panel of 250 watt peak so it, it deliver 30.3 volts and and 8.26 amps so the number of panels gonna be uh, 27,415 split by 250s, which is the power of one solar panel. So it's gonna be about 110 panel. If we choose to connect all the panels in series, we're gonna have 110 panels multiply by 30. 0.3 volts which is the voltage of each panel so all this is equal to 3333 volts and as you can see here this value doesn't respect the voltage range range of the inverter so as a solution we're gonna choose the voltage that we have to deliver to the inverter and it have to be between this this range 450 volts and 780 volts so we're gonna choose 660 volts for example and you can choose any value you want and it have to be in this range and you have also to watch the input current DC that we have that you have to deliver to the inverter and it have to not exceed this value which is 80 amps so we have the power peak of the installation so in this case we're gonna imagine that the power peak is the volt ampere but only in one case only if we change the calculator in the one phase mode like this so we have the power peak of the installation which equal to the volts multiply by the current and as you can see we have already choose the voltage that gonna feed the inverter which is 660 volt so we have to check if the current is correct and it should not exceed the input DC max of the inverter which is 80 amps so first of all we have to clear all so we can start over from the beginning we're gonna click on set and then on click clear all and now we have to switch in one phase mode so we're gonna click on set and one as you can see we are in one phase mode so now we can solve the calculation 
of the currents. So now we have to enter the volts, which is 660 volts. Volts, and now we have to enter the power peak of the installation, which is 27.45 kilowatt peak. So we have to click on kilo and then volt amper. As you can see, we have 27.45 kilowatt peak. And now we're going to click on amps so we can have the currents. And as you can see, we have 41.59 amps. And this value is correct because it's not exceed the current of the inverter, which is 80 amps. So, if you want to know the number of chain in series that we're going to need, we have to split this value by. 8.26 amps which is the current delivered by each panel so we're gonna split 41.59 by 8.26 and as you can see we have 5 so in this case we're gonna need 5 sheen in series so we can respect the ranges of the solar inverter so in the end we're gonna have five chains in series and it's gonna deliver 660 volts and 41.52 amps and each chain contain 22 panels in series and gonna deliver 660 volts and 8.26 amps and this is how we're gonna feed our pump without breaking the inverter so thank you for your attention and see you in the next tutorial